Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, as you know we've just done the bean out video and now this video is called Joyce and Dubois is pay-per-view 25 quid all day long all day long Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce all day long is worth 25 quid two undefeated guys going at it and it's gotta be two big lumps like that two six foot six lumps 18 stone getting in that ring big bangers they've knocked everybody out by one two massive punches like that who've been knocking Joshua about for years up at the EIS that Joshua didn't even call out he didn't even dream their names didn't even dream about them but let me tell you this them two fighting is pay-per-view all day I think it's a good move by Frank Warren to get rid of the hook and uh, Joyce fight if that's true that that's happened would I like would I like to see Dubois Joyce you bet I would will it be a two fight deal you bet it would Sam Jones is not daft he gets a lot of stick but he because he mainly because he ain't got a manager's license but there's other people doing well in boxing without a manager's license I give Dean White a bit of stick because that's not his real name but and he says he's Dillian White's brother, but he doesn't know he's boxing. If it were his fight as Shaq and Peters, he'd have a two-fight deal. Of course you would. Name of the game is money. Right? Them lads know the boxing. Sam Jones knows it. He will uh, get a two-fight deal on this because it's a risky fight. If Dubar be if the if the bar loses, they'll bring him back. If Joyce loses, he's knocking on a bit, isn't he? He'd have to fight him again, and if he lost then, he could be finished, Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce has got most to lose out of this, but they look to me like they froze out, don't they? That Sam Sam Jones, is it? And, or Sam, whatever his name is. Sam Sam the Piper's son. Stole a pig and away he ran. Look, that Sam with, with beard and... Uh, who were, who were having a go at uh, Fujimoto's green and red hair and saying he's, he's, they wouldn't have him as a sparring partner. Well, him and Dubois, they're, they're on the out... And, sorry, him and Joyce are on the outside looking in, aren't they? So as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, they're on the outside looking in. And they need this pay-per-view, but it is pay-per-view. Daniel Dubois against Joe Joyce is pay-per-view all day long. If, you, if it isn't pay-per-view, well, Dillian White against Oscar Rivers pff, for no belt. That would pay-per-view. Bellew and, and Hay, two fighters at end of the tether. Bellew only fought one more time. Only fought one more opponent, Usyk. And Hay never fought again. That They had two pay-per-views. Dubois and Joyce, they're at the peak. They've no mileage on clock, they're going to go at it. Massive bangers, bigger bangers than Bellew and Hay. So, yeah, that's pay per view. So, just been told David Allen knocked back a quarter of a million pounds to fight Dubois. And when I heard what he's fighting for in Sheffield, I thought, oh my god. But Dave knows best, doesn't he? So, I hope Dave's comeback's good. I wish him well. I know he's fighting TBA. It's amazing that, isn't it? You could have fought Dubois, somebody you've sparred, and had a quarter of a mil, or you're going to fight for what you're fighting for. I'm not going to mention what he's getting, but when I heard that, I, I couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it when we heard it, but it's up to him, isn't it? It's, uh, he knows best, doesn't he? So he took bad advice, and he's not going to get an awful like that again now, is he, unless he gets some wins on board. But he can always play that, I want to fight Nick Webb for British and Legacy and all that. I can play that card, can't he? But ask him for 350,000. Well, I bet he wishes he took that 250. Because I know what I'd have done. I'd have took that 250 and I bailed out. And you've got to go back to work again now, haven't you? It's the camps that do you, David. So, But we wish David Allen well. People need to get off his back. He's toned it down a little bit. With his entourage of So that's good, isn't it? That's good, but get them scripts wrote, David. Get her a good script wrote. 
or when you come back on scene it next few weeks at the presses in Sheffield. We want to see a new script, whether it'll be a, a war tattoo. Oh, he's got a war tattoo on here. He might put one on his head this time at the back. Or, what about if Dave Allen puts a red hat on on a suit? Oh, he's done that, hasn't he? What could he do? He could turn it with a sheep, couldn't he? He could turn it with a pig. He could turn up dressed as Iron Man. Because he's tough, isn't he? He could turn up dressed as Iron Man, because Tyson did it as Batman. Dave could turn up dressed as Iron Man, and it could be... Or, he could turn up and dressed up as... Billy Smart. And it could be a circus. He could do that, couldn't he? Either way, he sells loads of tickets, Dave Allen. So get behind him. Look forward to Kel's opponent. Uh, and him having a good fight. Looks like it's a good fight for Kel, that. Uh, who else is on the show? Uh, I don't know, it's all passed me by. It's all a bit, uh, oh, it's one of them, isn't it? It's like, uh, but we wish Eddie Hearn well. He got a date in Sheffield. He's bringing boxing back to Sheffield. And people who have got their fighters on the show can turn around and say, doing bits, can't they? That's a good saying that lately, isn't it? Hashtag doing bits. They could say that. What else could they say? People have got fighters on the show. They could say, hashtag pork is life. They could say that, couldn't they? Or hashtag winning. But it's all good stuff, isn't it? It's all good positive stuff. And I'll be there. But I'm at your call in two weeks as well on a Friday. So is it, I'm kind of think what, what, what Friday I'm at your call in February. But I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to Eddie's show. I've been invited to it. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So it's all good. And I'm looking forward to Dennis's new signings. Oh, yeah. Well, it's tough at the top, in it? You see, what happens when, you, when you're involved in boxing? Other people are involved in it and they find their level. But sometimes their level's not really good, is it? So what happens is they find a level and then they have to move on and that's that so but it's all looking good Dennis has got new signings coming and I can't say who but the Corkers champions as well so it's all looking very very rosy this year I can't wait to get stuck in uh, I'm really looking forward to some of the boxing shows this year so I've got all my subscriptions all up to date so I'm going to have every pay-per-view on that I can this year. There's going to be no cutting corners, no catching up, middle at night on YouTube. We're going to watch all of them. So I'm really looking forward to boxing season. I'm looking forward to Josh Wales' uh, story continuing. He's been a breath of fresh air in our stable. He is the number one in the stable without a shadow of a doubt. His CV suggests that. I'm also looking forward to Cash Alley and uh, Nathan Owen and all the rest of the lads in the stable. Uh, Sufjan, he's with John F Ahmed, is it? He's Sufjan Ahmed, he's with John Fuchs. I'm looking forward to Keenan Wainwright, Kane Salvin. It's all looking good. Glyn Rose's gym's flying. So I can't wait for it all to start coming thick and fast the shows it's uh, all exciting stuff and uh, I'm looking forward to new signings will they be female you never know dear you never know dear so could there be two females will there be one I don't know I can't say but there's gonna be some new signings at some stage in the next couple of months so it's all good positive stuff can't wait so Peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Shout out to uh, Robin Reed, Multivits, Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging. Shout out to Mickey's Athletic Gym as well. If anybody wants to take boxing up, go we'll join Mickey's Athletic, Max for Doncaster. Alright, it's the place to be if you want to learn how to box in Doncaster. Alright, peace out.